Okay, so in this video we're going to talk about dynotopy or dynamic topology. So, what it does dynamic topology, it just adds geometry or, ge or removes geometry from your object or your model. It works with most of our brushes. So if, if you turn on dynamic topology right there, turn it on, you see there's something weird here happens. Let's go back. We're going to turn it off and look at the difference. Okay. So this is the difference. Right now, we have different settings in this. So turn on dynamic topology. We have a relative detail right here. Relative detail means that if we are far away, from our object or the camera is far away, the far away it is, the less divisions are gonna are gonna make. So let's turn this on here, uh, wireframe, and you see, kind of like I'm far, so it's kind of like reducing the amount of topology there. If I'm close, I'm gonna get close to it. Look, and I'm gonna do that, and look how much. It's adding more because I'm close. So that's how uh, relative uh, top, uh, relative uh, detail works. So the closer you are to the model, the more details you're adding, you see? The farther you are from the model, the less details you added. Also includes the, the brush size as well. Not the brush size, the brush size just uh, is the same. So if we change this to constant detail, like no matter, look, no matter how far or how close you are, it's the same detail. It's all, all depends on, on the resolution size. Uh, sorry, the resolution size. If we have the resolution size to, let's say, 12, look, it adds more. If we have this against to 3, it adds less. So that's how constant... Uh, detail works is with the um, with the resolution size. So the lower the number, the less resolution. The higher the number, the more resolution you're add, add, adding to your geometry. So this is an, an, another one. So that's so different to constant. Const uh, uh, no constant, but relative. The relative just works how close or far are you from the camera. Okay, so we have also another setting here that is brush detail. So brush detail works with the size of your brush. So look at my brush right there. And if I make bigger with the uh, square brackets, up and down with the square brackets, open and close, you, you get the size of your brush bigger. So if I make this bigger, look, if I get the brush smaller, which is a good one too, you know, it works with the details of your, like with the size of your brush, which is, which is still good, good to do. So Dynatopo works with most of the brushes, as I mentioned before, but this is great, great with the snake hook. Let's see here, snake hook, let's put this like that, so we have all of them, the snake hook. Okay, so for example, I'm going to turn Dynatopo off and I'm going to use the snake hook. Look what I get. Wow, like a, such a, like a, so much stuff there that it doesn't make sense. It's, it's not kind of like adding topology of what I'm stretching or taking out of the snake hook. So let's go back here and let's turn Dynatopo on. But I'm just going to go with relative detail. Relative detail is like the normal one that most of the people use it. Uh, I use it too. So let's go with the snake hook. And you're going to see the difference. Look, you see, every time that I'm pulling, it's adding more geo. So this is super, super great. You see, adds more geo. Even if I move it just a tiny bit, it add, add, adds more geo there. So this is just, this is great. Like, definitely, like, great, great to use is with this brush. Like, I love using this one. If I'm making like some tentacles or horns, you know, it's really great. So in the, one of the things on the workflow, like you're, you're gonna do like when you're blocking out the shape, let's go here and go file, uh, new sculpting and save. And if I kind of like a, let's go with this uh, grab 
and let's see everything is good here let's go to the other one perfect so if i go to my dynamic topology and I start like, like blocking out let's turn the, the x symmetry there if i start blocking out i love to block out with, with this because it's, it adds and reduces and, and look you're gonna see in, in, in a second here I want to do kind of like a character, a monster, or something like that. Let's go there and get the wireframe. Wire hey, get the wireframe. There you go. So every time that I'm pushing stuff, look, just kind of like, mm, mm. you know, and I'm making like, like the face of my character right there, and the neck. So every time I stretch, I'm adding and adding and adding more geometry. See, I can smooth this out, but I can keep adding more stuff here. And it will add more. So let's go turn this off because it's, it's not good to I can smooth it out. But if, yeah. But that's the thing with the dynamic topology, we can do that. Like this one doesn't work as good, like if I go with the snake hook, yeah, it's gonna work a little bit better, you see? Wow, just changes that. Uh, let's see with the elastic. The elastic is the same. So you can just use it like this as well, and kind of like a, you can probably like remesh that as well, but we, we talk about remeshing in our next video. But that, those are, like good ways to start like blocking out and uh, let's say you need this uh, snake uh, hook snake hook to kind of like add some oof not like that oh I had the wrong one let's do this one to add some um, some horns and obviously it's because I'm far here so I can add look some holes in there, but let's see. Let's change this to brush detail, and in brush detail, I can do this better. So, it, so it's gonna take, take the brush size. So sometimes you, you can just kind of like, like change this um, detailing to constant brush manual, depends. So go to relative when you're walking close, go to constant like this, or to brush when you're trying to do like a, some kind of like horns or things like that for your kind of like monster, who knows. Okay, guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If I brought you some value, please subscribe, comment, like, and see you next time. Take care.